Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well, the sun's setting once again out there. Take a look at that. But well, yeah, we have some um, progress done today. Um, we were able to um, almost finish the rest of the deck, as you guys can see, almost. We still got a little bit more to go, but um, you know, we got a nice big um, chunk done, let's put it that way. You guys can see that. And then what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna come back and put caulking in between all the little um, joints. And then we're gonna repaint everything again, but that's gonna be later after everything is done. But look at that view. So you got the clouds over there, you know, coming in. Yeah. So let's go inside, so it's kind of chilly outside. Um, actually, today, um, February 21st, is my birthday. Uh, so I actually turned uh, 32 years old today, guys. So <laughs> I almost forgot it was my birthday. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to you guys. I mean, it's not really a big deal, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I don't really celebrate the, the birthdays or anything like that too much or anything. But, um, but yeah, we was able to um, work today, me and my brother, and pretty much slap most of this down. Um, we have a couple of boards here just so I can step out, but you know, um, like I said, we only have a couple more boards to put in. But man, she's she's looking good, guys. But today, guys, we were fighting the wind all day long. Ah, it's it's not fun working in the wind, guys. I would rather work in the hot sun, I think, than in the wind. The wind just dehydrates you. It disorients you. It's hard, you know, especially with lumber, you're moving long pieces of lumber around, the wind wants to catch it like a sail. Oh my God. But, um, everything's looking real good. Um, the other night, actually, the other day, actually, yesterday, in fact, I think it was, yeah. Um, I came in here and I actually started removing all the temporary wiring that I had for my lights. So you see I have lights there, lights there, there, all the way around. So I actually had a daisy chain of um, wires Here's um, the pile of wires right there. Uh, so I removed it all. Um, just trying to get it all, all out of the way. So that way, um, you know, it did its purpose. It was only temporary. It did its purpose for me. And now we're getting ready to put everything in permanently. So, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, just get it out of the way. And um, make things a lot more cleaner and easier to run stuff around. Um, tomorrow actually is Wednesday. And I'm actually going to head down to Home Depot or HPM or Lowell's or whatever. And I'm going to go buy three more rows of each um, of the 14-2 and the 12-2, right? The white and the yellow. Because um, when the electrician was here, I asked him, you know, how much more wire. Because I only bought that because I didn't know how much I needed, right? I just bought a couple just in case we needed to open it up for whatever reason. And he said um, three more of the... I, what did he say? <laughs> I got I got to text him again, I think. Um, but he said three. I, I'm just going to go buy three more rolls of each because, I mean, we're going to use it no matter what. We're going to use it downstairs, outside. So whatever we don't use in the main house here, you know, I'll use it someplace. So I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. Um, if I can clean out the, the back of my um, vehicle, I'm actually going to load up um, 10 bags of concrete for the landing right down there the landing so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able i don't know i i i know i i've carried way more way more weight and way more bags than that before but i got some stuff in there that i don't want to remove because i kind of got my car set up for work right so but i mean i could probably bring five bags or six bags or whatever whatever i could fit in there but um you, we can bring that back out here so we can start getting ready to do the footing we still need to dig that down a little bit um, put some wire in there or rebar or metal or whatever and then um you know do that um but yeah we're just trying to get everything you know together also i gotta go buy um what was it i think it's we wrote it down um 10 more that's the one thing guys you you, you always be buying stuff i have it written down on the wall here what's it say 
uh, 10 2 by 6 by 16s, 10 of them. So um, what that's going to do is um, take care of the rest of the blocking in here. Um, we're going to use a couple of the pieces for the edge over here when we come close to the wall. And then some's going to be for um, the railing, I believe. <coughs> so, yeah, things are really coming together, guys. I mean, it was a long day today, guys, just, you know, work, working in the wind and just fighting it the whole day long, you know, on your knees, you know, basically. So, um, the other thing is, too, um, I'm actually moving the um, breaker panel, which is right here. Um, originally, it was right in between these 2x4s. But, you know, when the door opens, you can see half of it. So I'm actually just going to move it back one more bay between here and here. So now, you know, it's completely hidden behind the door. I cannot fit it behind, you know, behind these ones because it's just too short of a distance. But I can fit it in here. So that would be perfect. So that way, you know, it's kind of hitting. And I'm going to put something over to hide the breaker box anyway when the door is closed. But um, the other thing is, too, down here at the bottom... Um, I'm gonna go in. I think I might have some conduit downstairs. I gotta go dig around um, But I think I'm gonna go with either um, I'm not sure I gotta go to Home Depot and um, See what sizes they have but I'm gonna get some conduit to um, you know go through the floor here Because that's where the main AC is going to be coming in and also AC going out Going to the downstairs, right? So it's a pretty simple drill some holes um, according, accordingly to the size of your conduit, you know, you just slip it down in there, bring it back up, and you can mount it to the bottom of the box, right? So, um, that's what's going to be going on with the breaker panel. So, yeah, that's where it's basically going to be, I've decided. I think it's just a lot more convenient and easier to have your breaker panel right behind your door. Or at least for me, in my situation, behind the door. Instead of inside the back, inside the closet. Because I have to, you know, track myself through the bedrooms, you know, with carpeting and stuff. And... I don't want to do that. It's just easier if there's an issue going on, going on. I can run over here, hit the breaker off, you know, come downstairs, walk down to my power room, and see what's really going on, right? So, um, you know, that's that's my thinking on it. Just going to be a lot more um, user friendly, really. And I can always hang something over the, you know, that metal door so it doesn't look like a breaker panel. Um, but um, yeah, and then the other thing is too, I've been kind of double checking my layout on the switches and stuff so like for these bedrooms and stuff it's very simple right just one light right there and it's going to be i have the dimmer on and off with the dimmer switch on it right it's going to control that and it's going to be the same thing for the other bedroom and then we'll have like some la um, lamps in the corners and lamps in the corners over there um but as far as like for the living room area and the kitchen area as you guys can see i've actually you know i'm just um eyeballing putting some things up just to kind of see how it's going to look so i got um three more um um, electrical boxes up there for the lighting and I'm just playing around because what I'm going to end up doing guys is from basically here to the edge of that window is going to be countertop right then from this underneath this window here is sink right and then countertop goes to that corner and then co countertop goes this way and then stove or oven or whatever you want to call it here and then um, refrigerator here and then a short, small little um, countertop there going towards where the, the light switch is. And then my brother was asking me today about the, um, um, if I was thinking about getting an exhaust fan for the, um, or a hood range for the um, stove, yeah. So I'm going to think about that. Um, I, I think I might do it. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But maybe it might be a good call just to do it. Look at the sun now. I don't know if you guys can see that picture. It's kind of giving you guys a better picture there. Look at that. This is why I like having my house so high. Look at the view, man. Can't beat that. I mean, every day. You know what I mean? Wow. So, look at that. I mean, my camera definitely doesn't do justice. The camera tries to adjust the white balance and the orange balance and all that. When you look at it in real life, it's like beautiful. It's got like white, blue, orange, pink, purple, gray. <laughs> you know? So, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. But yeah, anyway, guys, I just want to give you guys an update for um, today's progress. Um, tomorrow, like I said, I have some running arounds to do. I also have to work half a day doing some things before I go and pick up all my stuff for my errands. Uh, my brother's going to take off tomorrow. He is going to do his thing tomorrow. He's been, you know, working hard on my house and stuff. So, 
you know, if he if he tells me he wants he needs to do something tomorrow or he's gonna whatever, not a problem with me, right? I mean, <laughs> go for it, you know. So, um, but yeah, so tomorrow not too much work is gonna get done on the house at all, really. But um, Thursday, um, Thursday's plan is to finish up the deck, right? The boards that are coming out towards the sliding door here. So that's Thursday's plan is to finish up the deck. it's windy guys but deal with it right real quick so this is the corner right so what we're going to end up doing is you know finishing up the deck and then he's also going to finish up the blocking for you know up here but the other thing that we're also going to end up doing not on thursday but at a later point is we're going to build a wall let me get inside the house so you guys can hear me we're going to build a wall out this way a wall this way right here and i may even extend the wall over here and then what i'm going to do is i have like these big windows here so I may end up putting like one, two, and maybe three here. This bay is kind of going to be optional right now. I'm going to close that off first and see how well it blocks the wind. Um, and if it need, if I need to go a little bit more to block more wind, then I'll do that. And if I have to do the whole thing, then well, that's what it is. But um, yeah, we're definitely going to um, block that off. And then I'm going to set the jacuzzi or the spa up here in the corner out of the way. And then, um, yeah, so hopefully Thursday we can get the deck done and then um finish the blocking now once the blocking is done guys um on thursday um thursday afternoon yeah i think thursday afternoon i'm actually going to call the electrician up and i'm going to give him the heads up that i picked up all the extra wire um we have all the blocking in place because i said you know we have a couple more you know blocks that we have to put in and basically just tell him hey we're basically ready for you to um come out here and start wiring it and um you know, I've been getting a lot of good comments. Oh, look at the clouds, guys. Look at the clouds. Look at that. But I've definitely been getting some um, good comments and stuff about, you know, the wiring and stuff. And, you know, everybody is, has a right to their own opinion. And also, everybody has a right to how they want to do their own projects and stuff. And, you know, all I can say is, you guys, just respect, you know, you know the way I want to do it. It's my house. You know what I mean? And, you know, if, if I had the extra time and all of that, you know, I would absolutely rough the house in as far as the wiring and stuff, you know? but you know I, I i'm too busy so let's just call somebody in that ha that does it for a living he'll come in here get it done in a day i pay him for his hours and um it's done my house is wired it's over but look at those clouds man look at that the sun is setting and it's reflecting the light up right look at that that's the other thing about our elevation guys i believe we're at like i think if I remember, guys, the last time I checked, it was like 3,600, yeah, like, I think around 3,600, um, elevation, you know, so we're pretty close to the cloud level, <laughs> you know what I mean, we're not too far away, but look at that, that's, that's amazing, that's amazing, I mean, you guys can kind of see, like, right here, see this big, heavy cloud right here, coming in, I mean, if I stand still, you can actually see the cloud approaching this way. Isn't that amazing? Almost looks like the clouds are on fire or something. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, I just want to give you guys that quick view. I mean, I thought that was amazing. We got some really crazy clouds that happen out here, guys. Some really crazy stuff. I mean, look right above my head, right? Look out there. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of my channel. And you know, I always appreciate every comment you guys leave, good or bad. Everybody has a right to their opinion and you know, each his own. And um, that's all I can say about that. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next couple videos. We're going to keep uploading as we go here. We got a lot of work to go. Um, but we're getting very, very close to actually having the electrician come in here and get this wired. And I'm going to be super excited guys. Super, super excited. So anyway... Until the next video, have a good one.